Hello everyone, Siri Emerald here. This is the Mark 17 head sculpt. Well, there's no sculpt. It's the helmet that I am building. And uh, the rest of this video will show it completed. But these are the pieces I wanted to show you in the progress, the process that I've been going through, which I haven't shown you on the others. So the Mark 17 helmet is unlike the others. This is several pieces of the helmet as you can see it um, two halves a third piece right here this is the piece that wraps around the outside of it on the back this is the piece that goes on the actual back of it this is the underneath this is the eyes to the faceplate and by the way this faceplate came as one solid piece so I had to separate it put a mouth where there was no mouth and of course this is the head and as you can imagine I had to drill it all out and I'm still in the process of trying to clean this up here to uh, get it to be not bad looking doesn't look bad now um, and this was a Sculpt from a Mark 33 Silver Centurion that has been modified a lot since it's uh, life in the Mark 33 helmet. So, here's the insides of it all. Some of the work that I've done, you can see to it so far. If you were to decide you wanted to try this, uh, I must admit, this is now by far the most difficult one that I have done out of any of them. It turned out really well, in my opinion. This was a very difficult head sculpt to do. And unfortunately, in the process of doing this, this uh, bottom piece here that you see on this helmet was actually part of the top of it originally. The face mask. And so I had to separate those pieces and it didn't necessarily turn out the way that I anticipated it would. And it actually ended up, I don't know if you can see that or not, ended up breaking the little tooth there on the that one side. It's really difficult to perform that. So it's supposed to break down like that. Right there. And but you notice on this side. I ended up breaking that uh, off right there. But it does go down and locks into place. And of course with it uh, in place you can see the little missing tooth compared to over here. But I had to separate that myself. I had to cut that apart and separate that to, get, to go into. Also, if you notice, the eyes had to be filled in. There was just too much material there from the original to be able to just trim it out successfully and have it look properly. So I had to replace the eyes so they, uh, they don't look proper. They need some more touch-up work on that. But, and there we have a Tony Stark. Also, I put the magnets right there in between the, the eyes as well for it to attach to the helmet so it sits up there by magnet where it's supposed to and of course here's the original helmet 
that comes with the figure. So I had to buy an additional helmet just to be able to make this head sculpt. So I still have the original there. Or I could have just destroyed the one that I had and, and then do without an original, but I still wanted to have the original as well. Thanks for watching everyone. Leave your comments in the section below. Tell me what you think of this. Did I do a pretty good job? Follow me on Facebook at Siri.Emerald, at Twitter at Siri.Emerald. Follow me on Pinterest and Instagram. If you like this video, click the thumbs up. You'll find that in the lower right hand corner right below my video here. That helps out a lot. Share this video with your friends. That helps out as well. To be notified when I make new videos, you'll find that by clicking on my icon and following it to the About channel. To see more of my videos, you're going to want to click one of those right over there on that right hand side. And thanks again for watching everyone. See you in the next video. Happy collecting.